dates, uh, um, last possible days in which you would need to act as far as uh, giving notice, notice of um, meetings with the cities, et cetera, uh, determining um, the call for the uh, election if you so chose. But rather than spend a great deal of time on that, I'm sure you all want to come back to that. Uh, I've asked staff to be here because the ones that are here now uh, represent some of the projects that we have discussed and thought about in the, uh, recently defeated SWAS and each of you, I think, in your uh, information that you submitted in reference. So uh, this is really uh, an unstructured portion of the meeting, Mr. Chairman, for the board to brainstorm, ask ideas, uh, ask questions of staff related to the particulars of their department um, and how or why they campaign 
discussion. I think it was a factor in discussion as to the, the reason why the last time it was on the ballot that it, that it failed. Uh, certainly, I think as well as that uh, um, anything that's there from the standpoint uh, that can be utilized or used, let's say, to, to create a negative uh, a negative uh, attitude about sponsors is going to be something I was hoping that we could kind of work through. Now, I don't think that's going to be, be the case. I think we're going to have to, uh, again, leave it in the judge's hand and kind of move that forward. Just hope that uh, that uh, all the other people just want to say this release is going to be favorable or at least very equitable and then we're going to to minimize for the taxpayers to kind of minimize that for the end. The county uses the law school to have a rollback to your property taxes. So that's, that's a big benefit. Any change in that, if you've seen those numbers before, any changes in it, and as it is right now, of course, it's really fair and unequitable for the unincorporated property owners versus the incorporated property owners. And that number just gets worse as you go on. But um, I do feel like, um, again, because we're on such a such a fine line here, and there are a lot of different things that if you're not, if you're not careful in the, in the community, if you're not able to continue to do things such as your your road construction and um, um, items that needs to be taken care of that we can do out of splash, those things begin to deteriorate to the point that you get further and further and further behind with them. And when you do finally have to do them, it becomes then a major issue, a major a major expense. And um, cost a whole lot more than it does at the, at the, at the at onset if we can do it. Now, with that, that's where we're at. Um, we kind of, we can talk about it. We can talk about your different projects. Let's say what you know, what you got in your mind uh, or on your mind, some things you'd like to get done and then and address it, or we can just open it up. <coughs> you to well, I would, if, if y'all are agreeable, the first, item that we had as a project previously was uh, approximately 18.5 million that would be used for construction of roads, streets, bridges, and uh, capital equipment for construction and maintenance of roads, streets, and bridges. Um, Mike, your total project list is uh, what we'll go into and give you a bit better breakdown on this is approximately Seven million. That's the top 25 projects. What I would consider the top 25 projects. Uh, seven of which are bridge replacements that, uh, according to our latest bridge report, need to be replaced. So, uh, I mean, there's uh, a bridge is 100% on us or a split with DOT? 100% on us. Okay. It's the little bridge on Morgan Road in there.
considerable concern and need, you need to begin to be replaced. Is that, that that's correct. We're yeah. trying to tell you to think about getting Yeah, don't thing. don't if it gets to it, if you don't do something, they will put a load limit on it that you can't get across. They, you they have to continue to drop that load limit to a point where you won't be able to use it and, and we're nowhere near that with this. Now, these seven bridges have written have weight limits on them, but not limits that could cause a school bus or anything else like that not to go over. But when you get to that that point where you got a uh, limit that a school bus can't go across, that's when we have issues. Mike, out of the 18 million, how much do you anticipate of that for bridges versus uh, road paving and improvements? About 11. I felt the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven million for bridges. About eleven. Eleven million of the twenty-seven million is bridges. Wait a minute. Twenty-seven is the total on all of our uh, projects. Okay. Yeah. That's the not what. This is this is not, what, this is, this is not just the eighteen. Okay. That's of the twenty-seven. Okay. I'm with you. Sorry about that. I was just down these bit. There's <laughs> some loose things that don't follow. Well, the man in short still. And, and then that's going to come out of the water, I guess. Well, freeze it. <laughs> <laughs> well, notice the, the last, I mean, the next item that I 